Hi there folks, this is Big Doug Outdoors. Today we're gonna to do a review on my little camping slash fishing slash hunting chair I use and also my weather shelter I use for fishing. So that being said, we're gonna just jump right on into this. I'm gonna to try to do it as quick as possible as I can. So the first thing I'm gonna show you and talk to you guys a little bit about is this chair. Uh, this is how you fold it down. I mean, uh, fold it up. Claps like that, it's real easy. It's got a little handle up here to carry it around. It's made by Ozark Trails. You can see there, you can pick these up at Walmart for a pretty decent price. And it comes with a little fold out tray thing there too, on the side. So, and then the next thing we're gonna show you is gonna be this. This is gonna be your tricky part. This little shelter here is a pop-up shelter. Uh, helps keep the rain off of you. It's supposed to be with snow and all that, but I don't use it for that. I use it just basically for rain during the spring and fall when I'm fishing. So uh, it comes in a nice little bag like this that you can pack on your back. It's a little strap. Does have tent poles in here, or well, stakes, I should say, uh, that you stake this down the ground, keep it from blowing away. So we'll go ahead and show you how. This pops up, and I'll try my best to get it taken down because it is a little tricky. And also getting it back in the bag. So you just pull your bag off of here. Make sure you keep a good strong hold on this, or it'll fly out and it'll go everywhere. And this down here is your bottom because this is the same material as on your um, your tents and stuff for the floor. So you have to flop out just like that. And here's your top. And I always sit the bottom down, and what you do is set it like this, and it makes kind of an L shape, a little bit like a corner. Then you just take, take your hand in here, and this just pops right on out. Right? And you just take it. That easy, as you can see there. It does have four windows on it. Uh, one for some reason is down there in the bottom upside down. I don't know why they put that down there I don't know if it's for airflow for reasons. I don't know But anyways um, Does have windows on each side of you and you can also turn This into a window too. You can zip it up to about here And then you got the top half open or you can zip it up all the way when it's cool and it's raining it'll actually work really good with heating from your body inside here it'll heat it up pretty good only issue I did have with this was right here as you can see I'll bring it closer it creates a little valley you can see a little bit of glue if you look close enough there uh, what I done was it create it made a little funnel and it's from the seams coming together there at that point and it would leak and it wasn't like you see Niagara Falls or something running into your a uh, little blunt, a uh, little shelter. What it was, it was just a little drip every now and then coming down in here, which uh, would fill the water up a little bit. You get little puddles in the bottom down there, which is okay. Uh, so I ended up, what I did was, I took some glue that you use for patches for like your um, swimming pools, maybe your air mattresses that's out there for camping and stuff like that. That's what I used on this, and it actually worked really good doing that. Uh, it sealed it up on all four corners. So, here comes the tricky part. Tearing this thing down. It is a pain, trust me. You need to learn how to do this, and the best place to do it is at home. Even in behind closed doors, or you can do it out in the yard. And let your neighbors laugh at you. And my wife, I want to say this, calls this my little spaceship. So, and what you do is, you want to put it down on its side, like this, it's back. I usually put it on its back, and then you take and push these corners in, like so. You want to make sure they're good and tucked there. Then you take and stick this in. I always tuck that little door back in there and stuff. When you take, put you come down about about halfway or so, kind of push it down, 
And then this is the tricky part, folks, is you got to push your hand in like this, and you tuck this in the end, and then kind of roll that over. And it should look like this here. Um, and then you want to come over here to your table. I usually use the table. Or you can do it on the ground, don't matter. You get your bag back, put it back in your bag. Is you have to take it and kind of push it down in there. I usually roll it in a little bit and then close it back up, pull it up here. And basically come down and zip it up. And it's that easy. I just want to say thank you guys for watching my videos. I sure do appreciate it. And I hope this helps you guys out with maybe a purchase in your future with one of these weather shelters. Um, and I just want to say uh, thank you guys again for watching my videos. And God bless and good luck in your upcoming hunting and fishing here in 2020. We'll catch you to next time.